For 25 years, we've been expanding the possibilities of storage so that companies can create game-changing products. To find out more about how you can be ready for the future, visit sandisk.com slash business. This week on WDD's Hotspot, we're kicking off with bombers and meth labs. The European Union is funding a research program called Emphasis, which is a sewer system full of chemical sensors that sniff out the labs of bomb makers and meth brewers. Once a sewer sensor sniffs out traces of home-brewed explosives or go-go juice, or crank, crystal, crystal glass, crystal meth, Christina, Tina, Chris, Christy, chalk, chalk dust, meth, ice, speed, jeep, jetter, jet go, go fast, G, Trash, garbage wash, white cross, white crunch, hanyak, don't even know how to say those ones, hot ice, super ice, batu, kink sun LA glass, LA ice, ice cream, which I thought you normally ate, quartz, chunky love, cookies, cotton candy, dunk, gack, junk, no dose, pookie, rocket fuel, and scooby snacks. It triggers an alarm. Police teams carrying portable high-res sensing units can be dispatched to narrow the search and pinpoint the exact location. The approach relies on the fact that some liquids and gases from bomb or drug production will leak into the sewers through sinks, baths, or toilets and into the air of a city via windows and skylights. Check out the links below to get more information on these sniffing sensors. If you don't know who I am, maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. Ask my fiance and he'll tell you, I have no sense of direction at all. It doesn't matter how many times I've been to a particular place, I'm still gonna get lost. So cellular GPS is my best friend, but I've almost gotten into an accident or two due to its distracting nature. The Hudway app intends to increase driver safety in low visibility situations by keeping drivers focused on the road, their hands on the wheel, and their mind on driving. It provides an augmented reality on the windshield, presenting information on speed and distances to intended turns. It doesn't require projectors or constant internet connection to operate successfully. The app is already available for iOS on the App Store and will be available for Android by February 2014. Researchers at the New Jersey Institute of Technology, or NJIT, are getting flexible with their new batteries made from carbon nanotubes and microparticles. These flexible batteries have the potential to power electronic devices with flexible displays. According to NJIT, the battery can be made as small as a pinhead or as large as a carpet in your living room, and it has the potential to be fabricated at home by consumers. For more information on these flexible batteries, go to www.njit.edu. Look what I got in the mail! Texas Instruments Bluetooth Smart Sensor Tag has turned one. Happy birthday! And to help celebrate, we're going to show you how easy it is to develop your very own Bluetooth Smart applications with the CC2541 Sensor Tag Development Kit. Designed to shorten the design time for Bluetooth app development from months to hours, the Sensor Tag Kit removes the barriers to entry for smartphone app developers who want to take advantage of the growing number of Bluetooth low energy enabled smartphones and tablets. It allows developers to quickly and easily write smartphone apps without any embedded hardware or software development. So let's test this baby out. With the Sensor Tag's IR temperature sensor, the Texas Instruments TMP006, we can measure how hot the flame gets on this candle. We can also use it to track the speed of this toy car by using the accelerometer on our smart device. Well, that's all for this episode of WDD's Hotspot. For more wireless news, visit wirelessdesignmag.com and be sure to come chat with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I'll see you next time in the hotspot.